So the history of Miss Millie's is very interesting. This started back in 1988 with a small number of stores and has steadily grown in the southwest and we're now in the London area as well. We pride ourselves on our product being fresh, never frozen. We have our own unique herbs and spices that we bred our chicken in. It's a grade A chicken that meets the highest UK welfare standards. We currently have three different formats of store, from takeaway, inline, to dine-in, and we're also looking at moving towards drive-through in the future. As franchisees join the Miss Millie's family, they undergo a three-week training program in our academy. Once the franchisee goes to open his store, we are then there to support them both before, during, and after they open. My awesome journey started uh, with Miss Millie's about a year ago when I met Carl and Martin at the Yates store. What attracted me to Miss Millie's was the training we had at the Yates store and how good the product was and the transparency with Miss Millie's as a brand. Plan is next to open my second Miss Millie's store, which is going to be in Southend. When we are sourcing for the latest technology or a new solution, we are hoping to find a product that will deliver the best customer experience and reduce the burden for our staff. We test, 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 break the product and again test and then only implement it within the brand. Our latest product that we are currently working on is to set up a digital academy, Miss Millis Academy, that would help our staff and franchisees to get self-educated and to reach out to any information they require to deliver a great customer experience. As a brand, Miss Millie's is always looking at ways to become even more environmentally sustainable. We use the latest technology and equipment to ensure the quality of our product. As the managing director of Miss Millie's, I'm passionate about making this brand not only a success for us, but also our franchisees.